Welcome to Happiness is Healthy. This is Stephanie here, your happiness enhancer. How are you doing tonight? Wow, oh my goodness. That's amazing. And you're purchasing job, you already spent $45,000 of the company's money? Ha! <laughs> is that fun? Oh my gosh. Uh, you've been buying all kinds of supplies for everything? Oh, that's cool. How fun. Well, I'm really glad for you that it's working out so well. Is there lots of new things to learn? All right. Well, that's great. I love learning new things. Well, I'm so pleased for you. Oh, you know, I had a good day. Mm-hmm. I went watering the plants this morning, opened the park, of course. Yeah. Oh, got to go check on a drunk guy. His pants were hanging off. His ass crack was hanging out, yeah. But anyway, at least the front was covered, yeah. His friend said they were taking care of him and keeping him away, and they were going to head out soon, and there was a couple beer on the picnic table, and I reminded them, did they know this is a not drinking park? And they said, yes, they, uh, no, they didn't, but now they did, and so she said they'd be leaving soon, and they'll take him with her. So I was glad they were going to take the drunk guy with them, yeah. Because who knows, maybe they didn't want to, right? If he gets too drunk, we'll leave him here, right? So that was good, yeah. And, um, yeah, so it was a good day, and let's see what else. Oh, got some filing done and organizing of papers for next year's taxes, yeah. So that's good, just organizing, cleaning up a little bit, yeah. Made some amazing fried potatoes. Oh my gosh, they were so good. Tons of butter. And we grew the potatoes, and it was so fun. Oh my gosh, growing food and eating it. Just like when I was a kid on the farm. Mm, exciting. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. So I was thinking we could talk about being creatively calm. How do we cultivate calmness? Like we cultivate food in the garden. We can cultivate calmness. Yeah. And I do my best to cultivate calmness by focusing on the outcome that I want and by just realizing that I have something to do with the outcome of my life. By creating a happy attitude and staying calm in all situations, that helps me stay in the flow of universal love. Because I think universal love is calm and peaceful. So, I just do my best to remember to stay relaxed and calm and focused on what I can do, which is control my attitude, yeah, and my perspective, and realize that I live in a supportive universe where all my needs are taken care of before I even know I have them. Yeah, like in the womb, I didn't know I was going to need like an umbilical cord. No. <laughs> but nature gave me umbilical cord so I could survive. Mm -hmm. Now it's up to me to be creatively calm and know that I'm putting out good energy so that I know that I deserve to receive good energy. Like that karma thing, right? I mean, I'm going to make mistakes and going to hurt people's feelings sometimes because I'm human. And, you know, I don't know. Like one time I asked a lady when her baby's due and she just had a baby. Oh my gosh, that was terrible. She ran out running away crying. She never wanted to be my friend again, I could tell you that, right? So, like, I didn't mean to hurt her, but... So, you know, there's all kinds of ways I've hurt people, so... I know that it's up to me to watch what comes out of here and watch what's going on in here so that my words can be calming, compassionate, and patient. Because that way, I feel in the flow of universal love. And then I feel calm and patient and usually kind of um, comical and enjoying just what's going on in front of me. Oh, how did you know I wanted to have an affirmation for being creatively calm? Yeah. 
You make me so happy. I love all my followers and all my subscribers. You just, mm. thank you. An affirmation for today. I stay creatively calm by being focused on what I can do. I can keep my perspective focused on bringing things to me that I want because I know I am worthy of having my needs met. Hey, that felt good. I am worthy of having my needs met. Yeah, let's say that together a couple more times. I am worthy of having my needs met. Come on, one more time. I am worthy of having my needs met. And when I feel worthy of having my needs met, all of a sudden things just pop into my life that I needed. And they just showed up. Because I made a clear picture and a clear intention. And then I just live it go. And then do what's in front of me to be helpful, to be compassionate, to be willing to pay attention to what's going on in front of me so that I could offer comfort, caring, or sometimes I have to tell people, did you know you can't get drunk here in the park, right? It's to just be kind and compassionate to who's ever in front of me so that at the end of the day, I know I did my best to take a little bit you know, to not add an extra weight of frustration onto anybody's basket lining. Because we all got enough stress on our plate. So how can I just be a calm, creatively calm influence to everyone I meet? Including you. Because you call me by being here. Yeah. You help me to complete my goal of cheering up the planet. Because you show up. I am a creative child of universal love, and universal love is calm when I spread calmness and peace and compassion through every cell of my being and every human that I meet, or that watches my channel. Yeah. So anyways, thanks so much for being here. All you happiness enhancers, you're the best. I'm so glad you're helping me cheer up the planet. Woo! I love you all. You make my day. And so, oh right, oh my gosh, I don't even have no earrings on tonight. Well, what am I going to do? What do I have up here handy? I don't even know if I have any handy. I can't believe I didn't even put on any earrings and I didn't even notice. Well, anyways, I'll show off these. My mom gave me these a long time ago. And I wear them in honor of her. Oh, and yesterday was two years since she passed away. So maybe she made me forget earrings so I could talk about her and her passing away and her passion of supporting artists that make beautiful jewelry, purses, and all kind of anti-aging and beauty care products. So I love you all. Thanks for being here tonight. And uh, remember, if I made you giggle, smile or think, Thank you for liking, subscribing, and sharing. And if you already subscribe, I'd love to write anybody an affirmation. If, some, if you have some issue in your life and you're needing some encouragement, first affirmation's free. The rest are always by donation. I love you. Bye.